when the explosion of the Deepwater Horizon rig occurred, we were all in shock. We all saw the, 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 the horrific pictures. We all thought and prayed for the families of the crew members on the rig. Obviously, there was some loss of life there. We were dealing with so many unknowns. Crews are furiously laying booms across much of Louisiana's fragile coast. Chunks of crude now sweeping into Pensacola Bay, threatening not just the Gulf Shores, but its inland waterways. We felt as if we were losing control of, of our freedom, uh, control of everything. We weren't allowed to go on the beach, couldn't get to our restaurants or anything else because it was just packed with workers, uh, news media. Um, it, was a, it was a circus. There was quite a bit of anger. Well, everybody was panicking. I mean, you gotta understand, in 2004 we had Hurricane Ivan, uh, then you had the housing bubble burst, and you had the financial crisis, uh, and then you have an oil spill. It wasn't like a storm when you know that it's gonna pass, and then you just kind of rebuild and, 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 and pick up and, and go back right to work. With the oil spill, we're not familiar with oil. We're not familiar with what oil can do. Tension builds up within the family, friction builds up. So not only was it the fishermen, but also you had the oil field worker that wasn't able to go out. When the oil spill happened, a lot of our community members fell into a depression. I mean, you've seen substance abuse just escalate. You've seen divorces. Uh, the family unit broke apart. Folks, were, they lost their homes, declared bankruptcy. They lost their businesses. Families split up over the emotional, financial uh, angst and stress that was created by the spill. Uh, families left town. There was anger and anxiety, and, and you know, that's very understandable. People are upset because an event happened. It caused so much anxiety. Unfortunately, one of our local charter boat captains took his own life. We have seen suicides um, in Alabama and in Florida. So uh, the, the notion that uh, mental health impacts uh, are, are you know, not a real serious thing to be concerned about from oil spills uh, is not true. It's just scary how one a little pipe in the middle of the Gulf could change so many lives and rearrange things in a way that you could have never imagined. Communities can come together through participation, through helping others, and rebuild and most important, transform themselves into what they want to be in the future.